Why do I keep getting UTIs? That is the question. Hi, I'm Dr. Lindsay Marie. I'm a board certified family medicine physician. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you seven reasons why you might keep getting UTI infections and provide you with seven ways to help prevent them. Urinary tract infections or UTIs affect millions of women worldwide. And it's hard to understand why some women continue to get recurrent UTIs. UTIs cause not only discomfort, but frustration if they keep coming back. Symptoms of a UTI include urinary frequency, having to go multiple times, urinary urgency, having to go right away, and burning with urination. A UTI occurs when bacteria, usually E. coli, enters the urinary tract to cause an infection. UTIs can affect anyone, including children, men, or women, but usually women suffer from this condition much more frequently. In my current job seeing patients, I usually see two to three women per day coming to me for symptoms of a urinary tract infection. So now let's talk about the seven ways that usually cause women to get recurrent UTIs. So the first one is anatomy, and there are two components to this. One, the female urethra tract is much shorter in length, and this can lead to bacteria easily spreading up toward the bladder. And two, the female urethra tract is in closer proximity to the anus, which can be a source of bacteria. The second reason women tend to get recurrent UTIs can be due to hormonal changes. Our hormones play a role in our urinary tract's defenses, and hormonal fluctuations during our menstrual cycle, pregnancy, and menopause can lead to these changes. The third reason for recurrent UTIs can include sexual activity. It's very common for bacteria to be introduced to the urethra tract during sexual intercourse, and this can lead to infection. The fourth reason why women can tend to get recurrent UTI infections, believe it or not, can include birth control. Some forms of birth control, including diaphragms or spermicides, can alter the natural pH balance within the vaginal area, and this can increase your susceptibility to UTIs. The fifth reason some women can get recurrent UTIs can be due to menopause, during menopause, our estrogen levels are dramatically reduced, and this can lead to changes in the vaginal area, but also the urethra tract. It can sometimes lead to more dryness in that area and increases your susceptibility toward UTIs. The sixth reason why some women tend to get recurrent UTIs can include genetics. Unfortunately, some women are just more prone to getting more UTI infections, and this is something that we can't necessarily control. And the seventh reason why some women can tend to get recurrent UTI infections includes having previous infections that were not properly treated. If not treated promptly or thoroughly, a UTI infection can become chronic. And chronic just means that it lasts for a longer period of time. There is also a whole nother condition that causes chronic symptoms of UTI, and this is known as interstitial cystitis. Some people who have recurrent or chronic symptoms of UTI may actually have this condition instead of a UTI. And this is the topic for a whole nother follow-up video, which I will be making next week. So if you want to learn more about interstitial cystitis, stay tuned for that. So if you are a woman who suffers from recurrent UTIs, what are some ways that you can prevent them or at least reduce the frequency of which you get them? The approach to preventing recurrent UTIs is multifactorial, and we will be going over the seven ways to do that now. So the first way to prevent UTI or recurrent UTI infections is with hydration. You have probably heard it a million times before, but drinking plenty of fluids actually does help to flush the urinary tract, and it can help to flush away all of that bacteria. So you want to be drinking plenty of fluids on a regular basis so that you can have a clean urinary tract and urethra. The second way to prevent recurrent urinary tract infections includes urinating regularly. If you work in a job where you have a 12 hour shift and you barely have a chance to use the restroom during that whole time, that can definitely lead to a buildup of bacteria and thus make you more susceptible to a urinary tract infection. When I used to work in urgent care in the hospital, that was the case for me. And I know a lot of other nurses and doctors who have a hard time taking a break to use the bathroom during their work. But it is something that is necessary to urinate at least every four to six hours so that you don't build up extra bacteria in the urethra and cause infection. The third way to help prevent recurrent UTI infections is also something you may have heard of before and that is wiping technique just a friendly reminder it is always important to wipe from front to back so that you can avoid any bacteria from the anus coming up toward the urethra some women can also be more susceptible to UTI infections when they are experiencing episodes of diarrhea so it is extremely important in those times to also remember the proper wiping technique the fourth way to help prevent you from getting recurrent UTI infections can include cranberry products and this can include things like cranberry juice or cranberry supplements. 
There is actually a huge market for this now and there are multiple companies who are starting to create products for women to help increase the health of their urinary tract. And the way these cranberry products work is that they actually help inhibit the bacteria from adhering to the urinary lining. And there have been multiple studies that show that these products can be effective in preventing urinary tract infections. So if that's something you haven't tried yet, you can look into it. There are multiple companies online or you can buy cranberry products at any pharmacy or grocery store. The fifth way to help prevent recurrent UTI infections is with probiotics. You may know that probiotics can improve gut health by replacing bad bacteria with good bacteria. Well, the same is true for our urinary tract. It's been shown that probiotic supplements can help support a healthy urinary microbiome. The sixth way to help prevent recurrent UTIs can include using personal lubricants. As we talked about, for women who are sexually active, it can lead to more recurrent UTIs, but using a water-based lubricant can actually help to reduce friction and prevent irritation in the surrounding area. One other thing to mention, if you can urinate immediately after sexual intercourse, this will also help to flush out any bacteria that is residing there. And the seventh way to help prevent recurrent UTI infections can be with low-dose antibiotics. When it comes to UTIs, if you are a woman who keeps getting recurrent infections more than three times per year, then you may want to talk with your doctor. Your doctor may consider starting you on a low-dose antibiotic daily to help prevent urinary tract infections. In the end, if you are a woman who is suffering from recurrent UTIs, it's important to discuss your symptoms and frequency of UTI infections with your doctor. It's very likely that these symptoms are due to bacteria causing an actual infection, but like we discussed earlier, it is also possible to have another condition causing these symptoms. So when in doubt, see your doctor for a urinary test to confirm the infection. They can then send it to the lab and perform something known as a culture and sensitivity. This is something that provides your doctor with information about the best antibiotic to treat your specific UTI, depending on which bacteria is causing your infection. And when taking an antibiotic to treat your urinary tract infection, it's important to remember to complete the full course so that you can prevent any antibiotic resistance. If you have taken multiple antibiotics to treat your urinary tract infections and it doesn't seem to be helping, remember there could be an underlying cause or it could be due to another condition which you will want to check out with your doctor. And lastly, if traditional treatments continue to fail, you may be a candidate for alternative therapies and those can include estrogen therapy or things like intravesical installations, which is a small device placed within the bladder, providing medications to help with the health of your urinary tract and prevent infection. Recurrent urinary tract infections don't have to continue plaguing you or affecting your quality of life. I hope that today's video has provided you with some information to help you moving forward and knowing ways to help prevent urinary tract infections. For any other questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I would be happy to answer those for you. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe as I am making new videos like these in the future. Stay tuned for the video coming out next week on interstitial cystitis and until next time, bye!